All right, everybody, so here's my new layout. So the back is the same. I can hold two of these water things here. You recognize my uh, my uh, bathroom kit there. And food supplies, my dirty clothes go back, go there. The tub, that little, uh, this thing here, is because sometimes in the heat, uh, rags you use to wash up with or whatever, they're wet, get mildew, so I put them in there so the smell doesn't uh, come out. That's my food storage, more food storage, my filtered water, right? And of course, my back door is sitting right there, which cover this whole area. Now, there's a difference. See that area right there? That's my bed. I moved my bed. Now, so here, I got my whole area here, but I have a walkway all the way down. It's nice. Let's walk the walkway. And I got my storage here on the side. I got storage here. Those orange things are just to tie down. Um, so far, it hasn't moved, but I just got them just in case. Got my little water storage here, you know, uh, my gray water. And then, look, I got my clothes. It's so nice. I used to have to get to my clothes uh and these these are underneath my couch bed and i have to you know get down underneath there and luckily i'm a very thin person so i could do it if i was a little bit wider i got a stepdaughter that couldn't get in there she's like she got man shoulders she's that's what she called herself says she got man shoulders but i don't have to do that now i could just go in here and look it's a, you know it's so much more convenient you know so my closet is just here now same thing closet four foot closet which same thing my water so Water right there for washing it so I turned to have the closet still into my kitchen bathroom area and then of course now I still got my ice box area here uh, up in there so I put my coolers in there but now instead of it being over my bed because my bed when my bed was fully extended it came all the way out to here that was a problem also a problem is my side door when my bed came all the way out to here I couldn't open my side door which means I always had to go out here and since I did not feel like opening up my bed I would always have to um, crawl over the bed and then, you know, anyway. You know, I never talked about this. What is that? My people. I'm going to tell you talk about that if I think about it. So, but now I can do everything right. So, now I, don't, I have these here. So, this front door is now closed up. It's locked up, which is great because now what happens when I go out to work or something, I just come out the side. It's so my sliding door. I come out here and I just, you know, close it and lock, put my two locks on. So it's just, and I and I leave. I just go, uh, I don't go out the sliding door because sliding door has locks on it as well. I just walked out the little thing and then go out, right? All right, so I'm gonna show you how I actually get in the van. I usually come in the passenger side like this. Move the seat back a little bit, right? Now here is where I used to walk into my, you know, side door. I'm gonna move the seat back a bit. I used to, I mean, front door, I used to go straight in that way. Now what I do is just reverse a lot of space. I just slip through here, I come back here, I unlock my locks, I walk into my house. And now I got a lot more room space so I can move more before. You can see, I didn't have, it was really, really tight. This is enough room for me to dance around if I really want to, which makes life a little bit better. First, I want to talk about my full length mirror, which I now have room for. All right, so I can get a full length mirror in here. I had the little things to hang it up, but I'm just gonna do it right now. So I can actually put my full length mirror in here. That's right, that's good. So I can check myself out, make sure there's nothing in my nose before I go to work. That's cool. Anyway, uh, so look, people, let me put that stool back. And then I got my ironing board hanging in there. Right in. But anyway, but I like this. I really do like this little area here. You know, but you know what? The, the, biggest thing about it is it's like a second room so if I have like a guest that wants to come over and stay overnight I mean it feels more like a house like I have a I can show them around you know, this area is like a guest room I have an extra two I have two workout pads a thick one and a thin one and so I can put those on the floor I have an extra sleeping bag um you know and uh well, extra, do I have extra blankets? Depends how generous I am. Yeah, yeah, I guess I could spare one blanket. So, yeah. So, like, like if I had a girl come over. Hold on, let me, let me take my seat. Hold on, let me get my stool. All right, I'm back. So, look. So, if I had a girl come over and say, hey, you know, you know, it's so late. It's like she comes over to the house. I mean, it's a house, right? It's my house, right? So, she comes over. She's hanging out, watching movies, you know, whatever. And uh, so, she's like, oh, it's so late. Maybe you think maybe I could just, maybe I could just spend overnight. Stay overnight. And it's like, okay, wait a second. Um... Why does she want to stay overnight? I mean, what? Where? Why does she want to stay overnight? I mean, what, what's really on her mind? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I can say, yeah, you know, you can stay, girl, because I got this guest room down here, and I can, you know, put you in the guest room, right? 
And so that's a nice thing to have, right? Now, what if she says, but but Derek, I, I just thought I would just, you know, sleep in the bed up there with you. Now, I know people be like, well, what's the problem? What's the problem? Well, you know, I'm not married to you. I can't really do the sex thing with you. That's just a Christian thing. That's just the way I live. But don't worry about that. If you're not Christian, just do your thing. But like, but here's a problem. Here's a problem. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time just in case, so because you get prepared. Maybe I hook up with a woman and, and I really, you know, like love her and we together and right, you know, we get we get married or whatever the case may be. Um, and so look, um, I put a lot of work into this bed because I didn't know. You know I'm not a, a, a engineer. I don't know how to measure weight capacity of. You know, I don't know. So look, I, I did a little extra. So I got four legs. So I, you can see the legs up in there. Now, I, 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 that's in there with a bolt. And then it has a, or you can see closer, the little brace underneath holding it. Let me see if I can slide that in there. All right. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. You can see it. See, so I got the brace holding it in. And that's cool. Uh, and but I just just felt like I didn't know if the bolt and I had that on all four and I was putting my cabinets in and my, and my cabinets wouldn't work so I had to change the backside you see the backside I changed let me see if it give you enough light all right people so I came back out to get you a picture of the strap so you got one of those straps on both sides uh, if you know what, how to do stuff you already knew what a strap was but you know everybody in the fan world doesn't so I just thought I'd get a picture of it I wanted just something where it's just carrying the weight so I went to this so it's like more like pillars so I have two here, and then I, you know, I screwed it into the floor so it doesn't move. And I have two in the back. I had to use, I used fours, two by fours, but I used the all-purpose here because it's still enough room so it's still sitting solidly on it, but I needed room for this thing to get in there. It was like hours trying to shave down a piece when it was on the outside, because you notice this one is on the outside, and I had to on the outside there. It just wasn't, wasn't working, so I had to put it on top. But it's really secure. I got really worried about it. I went back and bought these things. You know, my father built houses, so I kind of know about some of this stuff. I got uh, two by fours on this side. I went with all purpose in the middle because most of my weight is going to be here and here. And then I went smaller on the outside, all purpose on the extreme outside, and went with the little one by ones or something right there. Just, you know. Um, and, then, and then luckily, I didn't have to cut my plywood from the bed. Worked perfectly. So a half inch plywood sitting on top of that. So. You know, it works pretty good, but here's the thing. So if you watch any of my videos, you know, sometimes I talk about the fact that I do like big girls. I mean, I like, you know, thin girls too, but I do like big girls. And so I got to, you know, again, I'm not a simple engineer. So like, what if a girl comes over and she's like, you know, maybe I could just stay overnight with you. And I'd really, you know, fill in the girl, not fill in the girl, but, you know, well, not like it's nothing wrong with filling in the girl, but you know what I'm saying, I'm feeling her like emotionally. And I don't want to, you want to put her in my guest room on the floor. Like if I'm not feeling you, I'm gonna put you on the, on the floor in the guest room, right? But if I'm really feeling you, like, you know, I think there might be a future, I might not want to put you on the floor in the guest room. So, but then what do I do? Like, then the girl, you know, she's kind of a big girl and she says, hey, Derek, you know, that bed's kind of high up. Is it gonna hold both of us? Like, I'm, I can't, I'm not a simple engineer. I don't, what am I gonna do? Look at her and say, I don't know what the weight capacity of the bed is, how much do you weigh? I can't really ask her that, right? Because if I ask her that, she's gonna be like, what you saying, I'm fat? Like, I'm big or something like, you know? But and I, what I'm gonna say, well, baby, you opened the door. I mean, you brought up the weight thing. I wasn't even tripping about it. Oh, but now you're saying I'm fat. And now we got an argument, right? And the relationship is doomed because she's gonna always think I thought she was fat, right? And, uh, you know, so that's not gonna work out. So I can't really say nothing. I, you know, she says, hey, do you think, uh, the, you know, the bed can hold both of us now clearly she knows she's a big girl and she's worried about it so but now i gotta be able to be safe and just respond oh yeah no problem don't worry about it right and but see I, what i don't want to do is say oh yeah no problem don't worry about it but then when i say my prayers before i go to bed i'm like like dear lord please don't let this bed crash because this girl is probably pushing like 180 and i'm 140 and that's you know i don't know i don't know i'm not a civil engineer i, I don't know what the weight capacity of my bed is Right, of course, you know, but I can, you know, saying, well, why can I pray? And I'm, I can I pray and then get in the bed with her because I, I didn't say I was going to have sex with her. I can pray, and then you know, we could have a sleepover for now. Come on, people, you can have a sleepover. Have you never did that? Sl slept in a bed with a person of opposite sex and did nothing? I mean, it's not hard to do. It's got willpower. Anyway, okay, so that's the thing. So I had to worry about the weight capacity. So I put four legs on instead of two. So you know, I ain't got to worry about you know. 
So when she says, hey, do you think it's going to hold us? I just say, yeah, baby, don't worry about it. It's good. Right? It's good. It's all good. Right? Now, secretly, probably in my mind, I ain't going to lie about it. I'm going to be like, dang, okay, I hope this thing holds. You know, I, I probably will still worry about it. But, you know, depends on how big she is. You know what I mean? I got to get off of that subject. Anyway, here we go. So I like my little design. Like I said, I can just walk right through. I'm going to just walk through for you, bro. Cause this is really cool. And so, look, I get on my knees. And where's my, let's see if you can see my head here. Uh, flip it around here. See, I'm on my knees right now. And, and uh, so, you know, I got plenty of room. I'm not all crunched up. Let me see. Right, it's really comfortable under you know, under space underneath here. What is what is that? What's that? What's that hanging down there? Okay. But anyway, I like the fact that I could just walk on through. All right, so now let's look at my bed. So this is my bed way up here. You see, I didn't uh, separate. I didn't cover the uh, padding or anything, which is good because uh, it's been playing havoc with my back. And I've had to reconfigure it a few times. So right now, this is about the third configuration. I, so this time I have the. Uh, I have a pad, let me see if you can see, I have a pad there, uh, like a workout pad. Then I have two of the, uh, I was at a inch and a quarter foam that you get from any store. Then I have another pad here, all right? And so that's just, you know, so it's just not so cushiony. I don't want to dig in too much or, or give too much. Then I have the memory, three inch memory foam here. And then I went with another pad here because the memory foam gives a little bit too much we're going to firm it up so now i got this one, another of one of these uh, things here on top so that's what i'm going with so far and so far so then i just throw a couple blankets on top of it and i just just you know i got all my blankets up there just balled up now here's the thing so that's pretty high up so how do i get up there here's the thing why is it so high well i had a table you look at my other videos i had a table i was going to use that table to uh, when I you know start to redesign say so, oh I could, I could just put the table underneath here and and slide it out and then of course you know what happens when you have an idea and you actually build it and I got ready to put the table in and it was like well I have no room to slide it out you know so the difference between my bed being in the back and being a pie and other people's is usually in most of the videos they don't have a, you know a closet and something right here so all the way along their bed they're able to reach underneath so they have this whole area usually filled you know, you know i'm telling the truth most videos and they could pull everything out from underneath and they don't have the back closets like i do back there so they can pull everything out from the whole area all the way across and i can't do that obviously so how do how can i do it well there's enough space in the middle to take this to take one down drop it down in the middle and get what i need out of it and put it back or I could just move this one over to this side, or I can take it and slide it one into here, this area. So it's, it's plenty of uh, room to do that. Now, you know, obviously I put the ones I don't need as much on the bottom. Now, how do I get in the bed? Because it's pretty high. I w the first time I went out last week with the new configuration, uh, I had um, a two-step a two-step ladder and it just took up too much space. I realized I can use a combination thing. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to use my this foldable step stool, right? And combine that with this, this uh, that I had already made that was already in the van, right? So what happened is I'll step on this one, step on that one, right? And actually, let me do it. I haven't done it before. I just, when I came home, I realized I could do it. Let me take my shoes off. So I just step on this one like that and step on this one like that. See, it works fine. And then I get it into my bed, right? Now, so that works out fine now so you got to use things for more than one thing right all right so you got your trash can slash toilet slash seat because what i do is you take this stadium seat which i put some foam at the bottom to even it out with the you know ridges there so i take that stadium seat and i use that Put that on top and that becomes a chair. Let me maneuver around here because I'm gonna keep this door open so I have light. So I use that as a chair. There we go. And it's actually very, very comfortable because there's a stadium seat and stadium seats are super padded. Then I use my stool here as a workplace. So only thing I gotta figure out because we've got a laptop, I 
you could tap, you could you use this straight up as a laptop. You could turn it at an angle. So I turn it to get more in between your legs. No big deal. Turn it at an angle. I got other boards. I could just put a board on here and make it more square um, again. And then put it still put it on top. That way I can get it closer to me, right? Um difference is I don't like tap typing on my uh, laptop. I like using a plugging in the keyboard to it. So probably I'll use put the computer there and just I like my uh, you know I type like 50 words a minute so but I like my keyboards down low so I probably just put the keyboard in my lap here and uh, and type away that way but anyway so you know multi-purpose uh, things right and the stool of course if I wanted to sit higher I can actually use this and I can put the stadium seat stadium seat here look and then so and I can turn the uh, turn it this into a lounge or like that so I can sit higher if I want to I'm not sure why I would want to do that um, but I can do it <laughs> um, I don't know maybe if I if I uh, put a put something there or something a movie up there or something or I don't know I don't know anyway all right so that's it that's the end of the video